What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Deck Doctor here on the channel. Today, we're talking about Chew, and the instructions that I was given is very to the point. The point is to get Knife Edge's Deathmatch instant win off. That's the only that's the only restriction that I have. So this Knife Edge's Deathmatch is the win con. Chew enhance if this deck is not blocked and your rival has eight or more committed foundations, you win the game. Easy peasy. Um, I think. I think that it is way easier for Chu to just kill you by killing you than it is to get Knife Edge's Deathmatch off. But our, our goal here is just to get the job done. So um, let's go ahead and start looking. So I want to look at actions and assets under the order symbol because that's what my deck is under. Um, and I want to take it. I want to just look at some ideas. I'm going to toss a bunch of stuff into our sideboard and see what we can do about it. Um, I don't hate, like, Deadbolt is pretty cool. Showdown is already a four of in our five-hander? Holy cannoli. That's a, that's a lot of Showdown. Um, I like Runaway a lot in a deck like this. Specifically because um, after you're, you commit a foundation, you go commit one Rebel Foundation. I like USJ. USJ is a neat card. Um, I like I like uh, it in, in a deck like this strictly because... Um. Uh, it says that they put a card in their card pool. It's very easy for me just to draw it off of Chew, and I don't feel bad about like holding it or whatever. Um, it could probably be like a like a one or maybe like a two of, but it, it really depends on how much we like showdown instead. Now let's take a look at our attacks that we have. Our goal here is just like a bunch of stun moves, right? Knife Edge, Older Boulder, Ogre Boulder, Ogre Killer, Stun, Flip. My rival commits one. Commits a foundation and an asset. This card is so good. Um, stun, a bonus stun. If they have three or more committed foundations, he gets two speed or two damage. Yeah. This guy accidentally um, kills people. Um, I also don't hate Walk the Dog in this deck. I think Walk the Dog is like another neat idea if it's a stun one powerful three. And it's a, it's a move that they have to actually care about, right? Like... Like same idea of like I'm gonna kill I'm gonna kill you. This guy commits all your moves, and so this eight difficulty is not eight difficulty, it's four difficulty in our deck. Um Ice Sword Execution is also not terrible in a deck like this. If they have any multiples, this like sometimes this is like stun two, stun three, depending. This might just be like a like a sideboard. Uh chat says <laughs> Zeru's Flame. This card's not good. <laughs> this card's neat right don't get don't get it twisted the card's neat but it's not it's not that great uh i think mob strike is good enough but because we, we are a five-hander and we want to have things uh, uh we want to be able to like have consistency in our deck not everything has to be a stun you know i don't hate chronostasis trigger um Hmm. This is interesting. Searing Glacial Storm. What is the character that I want Searing Glacial to work in? Just never sure who it's supposed to be. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> from here, Foul CC for harder blocks. It's really good at deadlock, right? And so, like, maybe it's supposed to be Vile Seizing. But they'll just fail the card and let me get plus two damage, right? But, like, I think, like, Cinder Conviction is probably not where it's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be Ice Sword Execution. Because I think Discard of Momentum for Stun 2 is probably not it. When this card can just probably just do Stun 2 by itself. This card also says Discard of Momentum plus five damage, which is way more than Cinder Conviction can do. Yeah, I'm going to cut the Cinder Conviction just put in the two Ice Sword. Um, I like that a lot. And then Smashing Nomo, I think, is a bad card. That one's not very good. So I'm going to cut Smashing Nomo all together. And I'm going to put in four Walk the Dog. And then I don't think you need Acrobatic Leap either. We're going to cut that one. And we're going to put in four Mop Strike for consistency's sake. And we take a look back at our block zones. High blocks, low blocks here. This is 22. We could take... And go Mop Strike is busted. Mop Strike is very good. Mop Strike is very good. I actually really like this lineup. When we look at our difficulties, 
this is a four diff it's not an eight diff don't 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 stress out we've got only we've only got six uh five diffs this is not a this is not a five diff it's a four diff um okay let's talk about the actions and assets i'm gonna cut engine trouble down to a one of i think we're a five hander and i think this card is very very good i think that it is only really good on my opponent's turn and i already have a card that says commit an asset and so like having having assets uh forced to be committed is like is, is tough to do and that's what this card comes in and this does it on my opponent's turn right and i get to pick but how many assets are they gonna have right and then showdown should be a two of just because we're a five-hander it's so it's so hard as a five-hander to like have effective turns on my turn when i'm bogged down with all of these and then the last card that i'm going to put in is just psychic spirit glass at a one of um this card says that like whenever you're going to play your knife edge deathmatch, you take the block that matters and you just tell them that they don't get the block with it. Uh, you have one card left in your hand. No, you don't. Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I think that deadbolt could exist in the sideboard if you're if you'd rather have deadbolt rather than uh, engine trouble. But I don't think so. Not in a five hander. If we were a six, maybe a seven hander. This could work. Um like this card is this card is good, but it is not. Yeah, yeah. engine trouble probably just better for what we what we want. And then USJ, I like this card a lot. I think if you just play knife edge deathmatch as the uh, second card, um, I think it's very good. But we'll have to see. Uh, from here, let's take and look at the foundations. Right, um, our zero diffs. Botan's coaching makes sense. You're finished as a deadlock threat makes a lot of sense to me. Save a Bakugo. Is there anything down here that I don't want flipped? Um, no, probably not. Okay. Uh, up next, set the record straight. I don't think these cards are very, I don't think these cards are very good. After Rebel commits a foundation, ready this one. No. After your Rebel's attack deals no damage. No. Ah. I like this card as a speed hate card. I, I'm a big fan of it. Creeped out lust for battle. How do we... No, we can't. Um... Kindle the Flames. No, House of Cards is kind of interesting. Fruits of Our Labors has to exist because of the deadlock that's on that card. You have to put deadlock in your deck, kids. I think Master of the Drunken Style is bad. Um, Add a stun attack mill this way. That's very good. Your stun attack gets uh, one speed, two damage. It's very good. Um, Borrowed Energy. Glimpses of the Past. Childlike Appearance, I think, is a good card for this. Plus one or minus two speed. Eh. Eh. Uh, incompatible quirks should exist in every deck. Strength of Beauty, I think, is really interesting because it just says your mid attack gets plus two speed. I wonder if there's like a better idea of what's going on here. But it's a it's a big maybe. Hacker should exist somewhere in the deck. Unsure where of though. Uh form discard a card commit one card in there one or more cards my mouse is dying uh turn force retreat force retreat is so interesting i guess it's after it deals damage and if it if it's not blocked it's probably like really good mastermind's apprentice mastermind's apprentice at a two of probably should exist in the deck right same thing with in control i think cards like in control are better than the commit for the moves to get uh, to the the uh, I commit one, you commit one kind of ideas. Um, here, influencing the youth at like a one of is really cool. It's like it's a very similar job of I sword execution. Like imagine form influencing the youth form I sword execution. That's half their stage committed because I just commit four cards for free. Uh, can't escape me is a good card. I think a lot of these like tech pieces are gonna get cut, but it is okay. This card should for sure exist in our deck. It's okay for them to exist. Hero killer is neat. Unexpected hero. Dissolve the complex kind of cool. Um, okay, let's see. I don't think I'm playing any two checks, so we should look and see what we have here. Um, your tech is one speed, only playable if it shares two symbols with your character. I mean, giving this thing a bunch of free speed, like... This is a yes, 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 no, no, yeah, no, uh, no, no. So half of them are no's, half of them are yes. 
12 our attacks say yes but it's probably just not good enough right Rebuild hideout i think four league imitation makes a ton of sense to me uh so does proud scion i think it's like a one of if you got a speed reset um i think proud scion is pretty good at like stopping the i'm gonna put a bunch of speed on this on this very mid attack um yeah we uh, defrosting is also pretty okay because we just don't care if it we, we don't care if it deals damage it just has to not be blocked it's like it's not blocked so like minusing damage on it like doesn't matter i think defrosting actually is kind of a big deal it might be better than league imitation huh Huh. All right, we'll refresh here and we'll see what's up. Okay, so I'm, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the cards that I I don't like. I, I cut the cards I don't like. Uh, Master of Drunken Fighting, gone. Stumbling Warrior, I think there's better ideas than what this card can do, gone. Uh, what up? Uh, the final test. How do I discard cards? I discard with Mob Strike and that's it? Question mark. How am I? Or I guess Botan's coaching. Uh, we'll leave it for now. I don't know how I'm, it's just Botan's, it's just final Botan's coaching. Uh, Tam, I can't do a play for our tournament on Sunday. I'm playing Ochako 4. I'm killing the final test. I don't, I don't need that. Okay. Uh, how many cards is this? 64, or 20, uh, four, 46 cards. Okay. Um, so our foundations like mana? Yes, 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 yes. Uh. Man, what a, what a tough question. Yeah, foundations uh, go in your stage like uh, mana resources, except for they um, they all do a thing, right? Um, not only do they uh, let you help you play cards, but they also do stuff. Um, like this one says, enhance, commit, tap, discard a momentum. It's a resource you get in the game that magic doesn't have a equivalent to. Okay, uh, mill three, you got it. Add a stun attack, mill this way to your hand, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, so I have to find 20 cards that I get to put in this deck. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to do it by block zones. So I really like Citywide Crisis. This one's cool. I really like Hacker. This one's cool. Uh, I really like Childlike Appearance. This one's cool. Do I just need more one diff high blocks? Is that the reason that the that the one foundation was in there? Uh, block zone high go. Final test. I mean, there's got to be a better. There's got to be a better card than that, right? Even take to the skies is a better card, right? Because it builds. Like I'd rather have take to the skies than or season brawler. Season brawler is a way better card than the, than the than form if I've discarded a card, draw a card. This is a playable ball committed ability. Okay. Um, yeah, four season brawler. What's my high blocks look like? 20 high blocks? Good enough for me. Uh, okay, so now we go on to our worst zone is low. All right, we're gonna pick up a bunch of cool low blocks. Three fruits of our labors, one proud scion. I guess we still have four, two league invitations. Uh, we'll leave the, that there. Um, you're finished at a three of? Because it is incredible deadlock. And then I guess we're not playing Shinobi Prodigy. I really like this card. We're not playing Shinobi Prodigy. We're not playing Making a Stand. I bet Making a Stand at like a two of is probably fine, right? How many low bucks is that? 20? This is 63 cards? All right, let me take and just slam in a couple of mid blocks, right? Let me just slam them in. Three mid blocks and then we're good. We're on, we're on point. I think the answer is probably just like triple defrosting. And then when I take and I look at difficulties, playing one, two, three, four, five, six threes, understanding that like, so the so the idea here is I'm putting in more threes than you you primary than you normally would be playing three difficulty foundations than you would normally be playing, but when you um, when you play the deck you'd be like I do like proud scion I don't like league invitation and you can swap some stuff out so the idea of like this is just like a, 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 a first look a first glance at it i don't think that the end version of this deck is going to have these these uh this many threes but there it is there is i really want knife edge deathmatch chew to work i just want that to work um okay oh yeah we got it